Good afternoon, Postmaster, members and guests. The title of my speech today is I'm only here for a good time, but I'm here for a short time, but a good time. I'd like to take you through four events in my life where I realized I was holding myself back. Opportunities were being denied me, and it was stopping me having a good time. Let's start back when I was in primary school, my first week. I was petrified. The thought of these hallowed halls, people knowing more than me. I didn't know how I would ever learn things. It all just seemed too hard. My first homework, I was called to the desk. The revered Mrs. Morris, she must know everything. She had to, she was so old. I, I approached the desk. She stared down at me and said, Stephen, what is Karate? I was taken aback. It was what my father did on the weekend. I wrote it in my what I did on the weekend report. And I thought, no, no, she must know what this word means. And at that moment, I realized that maybe I could know things that perhaps others didn't. And that gave me a little glimmer that I would try harder at school. Moving along, I'd finished school, done reasonably well. Now it was time to think about university. We're talking a much bigger expanse here, more things to worry about. My particular concern at this stage was how would I get to the university? How would I go on a bus? Now, some of you may say, this is easy for me. I'd always have this fear of where was the bus going? Would I get off at the wrong stop? Would I have enough money? Would I be able to find it on my way back? I laid awake many nights, fearful of what would happen. But then I stopped myself and said, no, I really need to think about what I would do, what could possibly go wrong? I started to listen. And if it did go wrong, what could I do about it? So look, even at this tender age, I was a bit of a project manager, thinking about what could happen, risks. Needless to say, I managed to get to university and return safely. Perhaps my uh, diet was a, not, not that of a great gourmand, perhaps, but certainly I survived and, and graduated. What this taught me, building on from knowing things, is that you can have a process that you follow and you can work things out. Don't hold yourself back thinking you can't do something. You can often work out the best way to move forwards. Moving on, I'd finished university, done reasonably well. Now it was time to get a job. I'd always wanted to work overseas. Luckily, I managed to secure a job with Telecom in Australia. On the way, went through New Zealand this is where I had my third life experience that I'd like to share with you. Going through the South Island of New Zealand, through Queenstown, there's something called bungee jumping. Now, for those that haven't heard of it, it's like committing suicide but surviving. You, you, you stand on the ed edge of a bridge, they tie your legs together with rubber bands so you can't run away, and the other end is attached to the bridge. And then you just step off and you bounce a few times and get dropped into the water and off you go. And yes, you pay for this. <laughs> <laughs> so there I was on the edge and everyone gets it. The countdown starts, the body freezes and you just cannot move. But in my head, again, from these past two experiences, I thought, no, no one's died yet. I won't be the first, surely, and just decided to go with it and off the bridge and had a successful bungee jump. My life lesson from this was that yes, you can have a process, sometimes you don't create it. In this case, I trusted AJ Hackett. He is ISO approved bungee jumper in New Zealand. So I put my trust in him that I would be successful and would live to tell the tale. Moving on. 
now had the career and support my family. But I was getting older. We can't stop that. We all get older. Working in IT, it was very apparent that I was the oldest person there. And I begin to think, hmm, why am I one of the last ones? What is it that I'm doing? Is it still valuable? Maybe that's why people leave, because their skills just expire. I was being made redundant from my job, and my employer said, we'll send you on a course. You can learn the next great thing. So all my friends who were developers, returning from their courses, were telling me, Steve, do SharePoint. Everyone wants SharePoint. So again, from my previous experiences, I thought, I'll jump off the bridge on this one. I'll have a go at this. Many years passed, quite successfully, and now I work for one of the top SharePoint companies in the country, but started from knowing absolutely nothing about it, and quite possibly behind the eight ball as far as what I knew about the topic. So looking at these four life experiences, primary school, not believing you knew something, university, being able to get on a bus, trusting in other people's processes, and finally, believing the whole cycle can begin again, is what allows me, I feel, to have a good time and release potential and opportunities in my life. 